Hi guys, today I want to show you something very useful. Uh, we all have some, you know, favorite settings for the camera that we know that always work, and we want to be sure that we have them when we need them. So, how we can save that favorite settings? First thing, we can do this always on manual settings, so it, it's not going to work in automatic settings. So, it works on P, A, S, M and the camera. And of course it works here, because that's what is customized settings which means that everything will be saved in this dial position. So, we, we have our settings that we were working on for a long time. We know that everything is perfect, so we want to save them to be sure the next time nothing will change. So we go in to the little wrench and C icon here. We go into custom settings memory, save preferred settings. And we save them to C1. Yes, completed. Okay, so now let's go to different position, let's go to M, let's go to let's go to camera settings and change this for natural this here and that's it basically and camera that's that's uh, connected so is natural as well okay and let's go custom settings C2 yes completed Okay, and the third slot, let's say that will be P, we go in here, changing to, let's say, here, monochrome, I don't want to show you too many options because we don't we're not going to you know check all of them after that. Let's say that's cool. Let's uh, save it as a C3. Yes, completed. Now I'm showing you very nice pictures on my TV always in the standby they just being displayed like that I really like them okay so now after we saved all of the of that settings we've got three sets of settings the same way like uh, in the game you can save the you know the whole game uh, in in the slot and then after you Turn back to, to to your game. You you've got basically all that settings, all everything in the game like you saved. Now we've got the same, and to bring them back, we have to go to C because at the moment camera remembers the last save. So we're going to C. Oh, sorry, we're going to C. 
and at the moment the C3 is active so if we want to change that was the last one we go into C1 and you see that everything is colorful we go into C2 everything is colorful and it says which one was the in the safe so you can see that was M yeah uh, sorry C1 was camera S C2 was M and C3 is P so it remembers which position on the dial was uh, during the save and as you can easily see the color changed so you can see that was monochrome C2 is colorful and you can see down here yeah and this is the camera okay so as a conclusion uh, I'll show you camera was off we switch it on now we can see the camera remembers the last uh, settings of course we can change everything here because that's that's like a temporary uh, memory of the camera we can change everything here um, let's say vivid and then we can switch to different things and every time when we want to uh, bring back the this settings from the safe we go in here and then the last one that was uh, active in here uh, activates itself or we can change here yeah. So now every manual uh, on the camera has these settings more or less the same, yeah, because that overrides all the settings in the camera except except EA because EA is uh, has its own settings. So I hope that everything was easy to understand and easy to follow and step by step we're going to learn that camera easily. Uh, thanks for watching and see you soon on my channel.